Hey everyone, today I am going to be doing my skincare routine and also my everyday makeup. I'm 25 now, so as I've actually gotten older, I've gotten to really, really love skincare a lot more. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cleanse my face. I'm gonna be using the Elevation um, Clear Face Cleansing Gel. I'm actually gonna use that on my Radiant Spin Care System. So, honestly, these spin care brushes, so good. Also, go over your lips, it exfoliates it. Look at all of that makeup that was stuck on my face. I'm just gonna wash my face with cold water and I'll come back. If you wash your face with cold water or after, it would mean that your pores won't be exposed to the environment as much as it would if you kept those open. Oh, and the spin care system, there's a coupon code down below, you can save 70% off. You're welcome. After that, if I have time or in the evening, mostly I like to put on one of these sheet masks. This is the Kina Cosmetics Hydrating Manuka Honey. These are honestly incredible. I've been using them for years. The best um, sheet masks come from Korea. They practically like revolutionized the world of sheet masks. What are your masks, guys? The juice in these sheet masks are honestly like treasure. So there's so much in there that I'm just gonna grab out and pop it onto my neck. I leave these on for as long as possible. Today I'm only gonna do 15 minutes. Sometimes I even leave it overnight, so I'm gonna see you in a sec. So I've left this on for way longer than I said. So I'm gonna turn my elevation sculpting face on and I'm gonna keep it on the blue. I'm gonna use my Repair Your Youth Toner. I actually put it in a little spray bottle because I don't like to use like so many cotton pads for everything, so I just like to spray. So how I do my skincare is basically you put the thinnest product on to the thickest product, finishing off with your SPF. So I like to use my Light and Bright Face Serum. And I like to pat that onto my face. This is so, so cute. This is the Light and Bright Boosting Drops. They're part of the same range. Ooh. I like to press that onto my face as well. And you can't forget the neck. For eye cream, I'm going to be using my Revolution Toning Boost Accuchiol Eye Cream. It's purple. Um, they've got a whole range of stuff and it's all like different colors. I wish I would just like that have the whole range and every single color just because They look so pretty. I like to do this with my eye cream I'm gonna be using my light and bright face cream for my moisturizer. So it goes with the rest of my skincare Every few months I like to switch my skincare out. I really like elevation and I really like Really, really, really love Kiehl's skincare as well. I think that's great. For my lip balm, Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. Honestly, it just lasts for so long. I've got the 50ml version and it's honestly lasted me a really long time. Last skincare bit, I'm gonna be using the Age Beautifully Day Cream. This is SPF 50. You know, everyone, a good skincare brand always has SPF. If a skincare brand does not have an SPF in their range, I won't trust it. All the skincare brands are always talking about their anti-age range and they don't have an SPF and it's like, well, if you don't protect your skin from the sun, then how is that anti-aging? Do you know what I mean? So I just like to spread that on my face and my neck. And then I put the rest on my hands. You know, I want your hands to age too. Okay, let's jump onto the makeup, you guys. I think we've done a lot of prep with skincare. So honestly, I totally skip out primer. I think my makeup lasts pretty well on its own. So I like to use this revolution stick and I literally just paint across like my whole beard area because I don't want my five o'clock shadow to show. This is 
probably the heaviest thing that I put on my face. And I actually like to use an old school powder puff to blend that onto my skin. I kind of use this as a colour corrector because I don't like to be here for hours trying to blend out colour corrector. Powder puff is also dead quick, it's just so so quick. That's why I love it. I have been using recently the Dior Skin Star Foundation, this is in 31. And again, I actually like to use my powder puff, it's just dead quick, it's so 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 quick. Now it looks super super pale on camera but honestly like I bronze up and then it completely matches my face and neck after. Bit of concealer, this is the Revolution Conceal and Define. I just like to go under the eyes, that's it. Powder. If I'm going to work, if I go out in that way, then this is the makeup that I've been wearing. So just like a light setting of powder, I like to matte everything out and then bring back the dewy skin. Oh, and the jaw, I hit it so that I hit above it, so it warms this bit up as well, so that it doesn't look grey on that area. It's not really, I don't really sculpt anymore or like contour in that way, I just kind of bronze. Maybe sometimes I'll brush over my eyes for a little bit of shadow there. Okay, so obviously we've powdered, but with this NARS blush, you can kind of go over it with liquid a little bit. So I'm using my NARS Torrid blush. It's like such a favorite of mine and you only need like half a pump. That's all you need. Don't go overboard. And then I'm going to go on a W shape. Going up at my nose. Mm. Blush is like my favorite thing. Love blush. I put so much blush on, it's insane sometimes. But it fades guys, it literally just like, it loves to fade on my skin. So I apply quite a bit. And then just dot whatever's left on the chin and the forehead. Marries everything together. I'm looking cute. Okay, I actually really like a cheap um, nude eyeliner. This is the PS Call Eyeliner in Nude and it's super teeny weeny and little because um, I use it a lot. Bit of mascara, Urban Decay version. Okay, so I didn't do really that much eye makeup and honestly, like I feel like my makeup routine is very minimal. I will probably never be able to do my makeup and not put on eyelashes. It's the one thing you guys, just let me off. I really like eyelash lashes. Um, this is Tiffany. Tiffany New York Pollard on Big Brother. I'm obsessed. Did you see her on Drag Race? She was literally like, I feel like she was drunk, honestly. Okay, with this one I do change it up. I like to change up my lipsticks uh, quite a bit. Uh, this is Gerard 1995. Top, 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 top. And you know what? You can try out like all the lip gloss in the market. You can have Dior, you can have YSL, but I always keep coming back to this and it's just amazing. It's literally like lasts so long as well. This is from like a hair shop and this was like one pound or something. Seriously, no one can tell me that this isn't the wettest, shiniest lip gloss you've ever seen. Okay, and to settle down all the powders to make it last, I'm gonna miss my face with my Morphe. Last thing before I head out of the house is I spray perfume. Your boy has to smell good. This is a um, Femine Diadem. I mean, 
So guys, this is the look, my skincare routine, dewy without a stitch of highlighter on. I'll see you guys later, bye.